on a teacher again. How long do you plan on living? Simple question. How long do you plan on living? Did you know that mankind was originally intended to live forever? Yes, sir. Human beings, flesh and blood, we were intended to live forever. So what happened? Before I say what happened, uh, let me first say this. I'm not trying to sway anyone listening or watching this video to my particular uh, belief. I'm not trying to convert you to uh, Christianity, uh, Islam, or any other religion, as it were. It's not my purpose. That's not my intent. My intent is to share information with you because I know that there are people out there that are uh, staunch atheists who don't believe in God or a creator at all. So I'm really not talking to you. Uh, I guess this would be for entertainment purposes, maybe, or just something for you to kind of maybe fluff through. And maybe even the agnostics, uh, you might change your mind uh, after watching and or listening to some of the content that I leave as it relates to a spiritual base. But I'm talking to those who are spiritual or who do believe in uh, divine providence, a creator. I call him Yahweh, it's Hebrew name, and uh, some call him Allah, some call him Jehovah, and so on. It has many names. But uh, I'm talking to those who believe that Christ, or Yeshua, came and died for our sins, or the sins of mankind on the earth. I'm, I'm not taunting any particular uh, religion again. I'm not pushing that. I'm not selling any religion. I'm just sharing what my understanding is. So those of you who understand faith, then you might appreciate this even more. So getting back to the original question about how long do you anticipate or believe that you are going to live or want to live, according to the book of Psalms, it is chapter 90, verse 10, it says that we would live three score, which is 20 years, that's 60 years total, plus 10, that's 70 years old. And it says, following that, if by reason of strength, four score, 80 years old. So 80 years old is sort of a pretty uh, high age and a fulfilled life if you have fulfilled uh, your mission while down here on earth, that is, is fulfilling then, you know, but a lot of us uh, are living uh, any way we want, you know, doing all manner of things that are not necessarily pleasing to God, you know, we're destroying the temple, this body, you know, by ingesting things that are not healthy for it, uh, putting things in our lungs such as cigarettes, smoke and tobacco and carcinogens and all manner of things. Man has really just done a poor job of maintaining himself. But I just wanted to reflect on another scripture too while I'm here. In the book of Genesis chapter 6, uh, verse uh, 3, uh, the Creator said that my spirit shall not always strive with men, because men are flesh and blood. He says, so their years shall be 100 to 120 years old. So that's another reference you can use. So in Psalms, you have a maximum amount of years being 80 if by reason of strength. Okay, and you have back in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, it says that our age would be 100 to 120 years. So there's a 40 year difference. But uh, I'm not going to say that the scriptures are wrong because I don't believe that the Creator does anything that is wrong. And I believe what he said in the New Testament when he said that we must study the scriptures. Uh, for in them, we think we do have eternal life. So we have to study and show ourselves approved, as Timothy said, rightfully dividing the word of truth. You know, And there's word of truth from beginning of the book 
to the end. Sometimes we just bounce around and we pick those things that are appealing to us. And that's the thing we run with. And consequently, that's the reason a lot of people have created their own religions and churches, you know, because they only want to accept one aspect of the scripture, one aspect of the book we call and know the Bible to be. But anyway, uh, we can live uh, at least 80 years, if by reason of strength. And I'm okay with that. But I want to live at least uh, 80 years, I, I like to live to be 100 years old as long as I'm healthy, and I'm sure that you would as well. But when you look at our uh, state of affairs here in America, in the Western world, you know, we have some of the worst statistics as it relates to health. You know, over 50% of the population is overweight, and I believe it's about 20 to 30% of that population or that figure that's obese, that's morbidly overweight and it causes all kinds of uh, physical, physiological conditions, uh, heart disease, uh, gout, arthritis, back problems, uh, breaking down of the integrity of the human beings and structure, you know, skeletal structure and so forth, uh, diabetes, the, the list just goes on and I'm sure you are aware of most of this. But anyway, do you want to live at least to be 80 years old? That was my question. I don't want to scare you. Uh, sometimes, you know, the truth is not very welcomed because it really makes us uh, be placed in a position of exposure. It puts us out on front street sometimes. If not physically, sometimes psychologically. But take a look in the mirror this morning or this evening or this afternoon and look at yourself and take a hard look by yourself and think really think about your life today my friends uh, my brothers and sisters that's out there watching me now this video and consider uh, your life and the value of life and how precious it really is you know sometimes we get caught up in the hustle and the bustle of this mundane world that we live in and we're caught up in relationships and falling out of relationships and uh, going to school and jobs and trying to get by, working from paycheck to paycheck, this kind of thing, and all of the stresses of life. And sometimes we lose focus on what life is really about. It is about having a relationship with our Creator, He who is responsible for all of us. As I said before, Scripture says, it is through Him that we all live and move and have our being. So if it were not for him, none of us would be here. None of us would be able to experience joy, happiness, peace, serenity, sovereignty, or even, for that matter, sadness. So we're conscious, we're here, whether we like it or not, make the best of your life that you possibly can, and also be a good role model, both to your spouses, if that be the case, but to your families, your children, and not only them, but to humanity. This is Brother Teacher. And as always, I say, may Yahweh bless you. He loves you, and I love you as well. I'll see you in the next video. So long.